All right. It has been an extremely long time since I have looked at Ubuntu. As a matter of fact, the last time I think I looked at Ubuntu, it was using Unity. This is 18.10. This is their latest beta release, and I just did a fresh install of this. Um, and the reason I'm looking at this today is um, Big Daddy Linux invited me to his show on Saturday night. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go or not. Uh, I hope I will be able to because it is a little bit late and I usually go to bed early these days. But at any rate, um, he wanted all of his uh, panel guests to try out any version of the Buntus. Uh, in the 1810 series so that they can uh, report their experience with it. Okay, so I did a fresh install. I have not looked at this at all. Um, so you're experiencing this for the first time right along with me. It looks like there are some updates that need to be downloaded. It's uh, giving me a choice to install now or remind me later. Uh, remind me later. Okay, and then it looks like we got a message here saying connect your online accounts. Oh, goody! So we can connect my Google and Facebook and everything else so that it can share all of my information. No thanks, I'll skip that. <laughs> I enjoy having a little bit of privacy, huh? Okay, um, help improve Ubuntu. Ubuntu can report information that helps developers improve it. Okay, yes, and uh, no, I don't want to send any information, not just yet here. Ah, uh, interrogation. I love a good interrogation. Okay, well, let's see what else we got. We got, uh, you're ready to go. Oh, I thought it was going to ask me more questions. Looks like it's giving me some uh, software uh, suggestions. And I can either open software now to add additional things or, um, or, uh, you know, pick one of these items. Uh, unlike some operating systems that automatically download and install it for you, at least this is, you know, putting it out there to let you know it's available if you want it. Okay, very good. All right, well, on a fresh install, um, why don't we go into activities, find a terminal, and uh, let's see uh, how much memory this is using. Okay, this is using 776 megs of RAM, and I rem if I recall correctly, um, the KDE Neon was using about 200 megs less. Then, uh, no, this, I, I assume this is GNOME Desktop. Yes, of course it is. It looks like Unity, but it's actually no. This looks like it's pretty responsive, though, in its own right. Now, I think they stated a minimum of one gig of RAM is necessary for this distribution. Okay. And by the way, when I installed this, this did give you an option to do a minimum install, where I think it's just a browser and a few other applications or the uh, standard install. And I want to do the standard installation. That way we have a good look at what Ubuntu is uh, bringing to the table for the everyday average user. Okay, so you've got some uh, standard icons on the upper right where you can configure your wild, your wire, con you know, your uh, connection, um, your uh, battery preferences, and this is uh, your uh, logout preferences. You also have a lock screen and settings. Let's have a look at this and see what we get here. All right, and it looks like we got a nice uh, little user interface here, uh, a la the GNOME Tweak tool, I think, uh, where you can pretty much uh, change a number of things. You have some dock preferences. You can configure your notifications. Personally, I like to shut all of them off. I don't like them. Okay, um, some search features. Okay, so we got some options to tweak the system a little bit. Okay, not a whole lot, it looks like. Um, but what do you expect? This is GNOME Shell. You know, they kind of, you know, the, the GNOME developers decided that, you know, they don't want a complicated desktop like GNOME 2 got to be, but or Mate as it is now. 
Oh, that's okay. Let's, all right. So we got Firefox. Looking good here. Thunderbird files, uh, rhythm box for music, your LibreOffice white writer, uh, the Ubuntu software. I want to look at that. They mentioned this. Okay. Uh, yeah, close tabs here. Okay. And this is, I think their snaps application that they were speaking of where you can uh, download and install a number of applications. All right. And these are the updates. Ah, <laughs> Amazon. Uh, so yeah, uh, everybody loves that. And, um, but hey, I, I guess Amazon is uh, throwing some money towards uh, the Ubuntu team. So that's why they have it there. But I imagine if you don't want it, you can uninstall it if you uh, don't wish to have that. Okay, so uh, pretty decent looking software center. Um, why don't we go into activities here and uh, see what we get in terms of... Um... Okay, here it is. This is the application. I was wondering what this little button is. All right, and it looks like these are all of the applications that this uh, comes loaded with. Ah, gotta love, uh, gotta love uh, the Minds game. Um, no OS is complete without... Uh, Mines and I'll Riot Solitaire. Gotta love it. <laughs> I think uh, Windows is still shipping with a Solitaire and a, a Minesweeper game for free, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Cheese Webcam Booth is included in here. Calculator Calendar. Pretty much uh, all your basics. Everything that you need to get the system uh, going. Um, a nice startup disk creator. Startup applications. Um, okay. It's looking good. Um, and this seems to be responding quite well, so I can't complain there, but personally, I'm not really a fan of GNOME, and never really have been. But it seems that all of the, uh, you know, that some of the major distributions out there have uh, determined that GNOME is the route to go. But um, it's it seems to me, in looking at the uh, latest Plasma desktop, uh, Plasma has a lot more, uh, you know, pizzazz. And uses less memory. So kudos to them for doing that. All right. So I'm impressed. I think this looks ki kind of neat. Um, okay. And it gives you a list of frequent applications or all of them. So the applications that you use the most often um, is pretty good here. Uh, where is Synaptic in here? Nope. No Synaptic. But I'm sure if I wanted to install it. No, it's not giving me an option to... Ah, here we go. Ah, so you can type in part of a word, and then... Um... Awesome. It gives you gives you the option to install that. So if there is a piece of software that is in the repositories that you want to have installed, uh, you can do that right there. Okay, that's pretty convenient. I like how they did that there. Um, let's say I want to play, um, I forgot the name of the game. It was on the top of my head. Uh, let's see if, uh, Tux Racer is in there. Yeah, Super Tux Cart. Okay, so, um, you just type in a word and then it gives you software options that you can pull in from the repos. That's kind of neat. I, I, all right, I'm digging that. Still not quite the uh, type of desktop I would use, but not too shabby either. Okay, so at any rate, this is what uh, the uh, future of Ubuntu is looking like, and now I have something to talk about on the um, Big Daddy Linux show if I'm able to make it. Uh, so if you think uh, this is an ideal desktop for you, uh, go ahead and click the link in the description and uh, get yourself a copy of this. Uh, pop it into a virtual box or pop it on real hardware. Give it a try and uh, see how this does. And if my audio is out of sync in this video, well, this is my first um, usability experiment that I'm running um, from OBS. That's right. I made the switch to OBS and I'm using that for uh, doing my screen captures 
And uh, I'll probably be doing some other things with that as well. And I might even have a video of that coming up pretty soon. Uh, so until next time, peace out. Mm -hmm.